So here we go. I'm gonna, on my way to go pick up uh, Mary Margaret. We're gonna head out to Damascus. 38 miles in two days. Rock and roll. I'll uh, talk to you a little bit. Thought I should mention it. it is Christmas Day. Really weird Christmas for me. It is 72 degrees in Greenbrier, Tennessee. We made it into uh, Damascus, just figuring out our trail. And, um, yeah, we will see you in the morning. Lone Wolf, is that who's picking us up? Lone Wolf. Lone Wolf. I'm sure he's a through hiker. That's how he got his name. He'll pick us up and deliver us to Wilbur Dam, and we'll start our trek. Anyway, Merry Christmas, everybody, from... Merry Christmas. Me, Margaret, and myself. Happy trails. Night. Good morning. We didn't sleep well. But uh, it's all good. You'd think we would. Look at this. I set up my, uh, we cleaned out our camper yesterday and I had this uh, topper so we slept on it. But it was still hard. Excited about the hike. It's dark out. I was up at 3.30. Tried to doze back off but couldn't. Our uh, shuttle driver gets there at 6. So we're brewing coffee. Is that what we're doing? We just brew coffee. <sighs> But we are going to hike light. We're leaving the stove and everything here to make sure we can make our mileage in two days. Got nothing but our tent, our sleeping pad, and our backpacks. Um, going to hike in the clothes we got on for two days. That should be great. Um, fresh clothes once I get back to the van. I mean, a few baby wipes. And a water filter. No fire stuff. Light on food. All right, we'll hit you sometime on the trail. If I'm tired and I don't want to, uh, we got to climb. Um, we'll hit you at our first stop, which is going to be four miles past Wilbur Dam. Get up the hill. Everybody have a great day. In case my grandbaby watches this years later, it is 2021, day after Christmas. So, Lone Wolf dropped us off in the dark. We're heading up the mountain. We got 20 miles today to Double Springs shelter and uh that's that pretty view of a lake to the right of us that we can't see something over there like a marina or something huh or just houses not sure there's mary margaret up there well turned out not good springs I have an electrolyte pill. I'm supposed to put them in water. I got rabies. They fuzz. Can you hear it? Both. Um, Connor got me a new katahdin. Um, I'm digging it. Super light, but I had to. Uh, Find a way to fill it up. Good thing I brought a uh, empty bottle. Right there, I dug out some sand. I'm gonna start filling up my bottle. I'm filling up my cotton. Whoo! All right. So, it's a deal. I look a fright because we had a rough morning. Everything was so deep humidity fog that we were just wet. It was soaking wet and the wind was blowing real hard. So it was blowing the uh, water that was in the trees down. So, uh, which surprised me that we got as wet as we did. There weren't even leaves, but there was just so much water because it was so wet. When the limbs would uh, blow, it would just soak us. So we got soaked this morning, and everything was slippery, and uh, it was a little bit of slow go. We are 11 miles in. We got nine more to go um, for today, and uh, I don't know if we're gonna make it. It's already one o'clock. We're going pretty slow, less than two miles an hour. Um, hopefully, we'll get a second wind here. We're gonna take a break, and um, we and Margaret walk down to a little bit more reliable water spot. I was able to deal with this. Get some little food in us. And uh, get on. There's Mary Margaret behind me. 
little food, little rest does help. She brought some peanut butter wraps. I want to give a uh, shout out to this uh, company that makes this bag, my Hyperlight um, Ultra Light Backpacking uh, Pack. I just got some, my second time using it. I am in love. Let me show you. This Hyperlight bag. I am in love. But this is about a pound. Going this way. It's not a lot to it. I mean, my uh, Fall Raven bag. Oh my goodness, I got all kinds of n places to put stuff. My new Katahdin uh, water bag. Connor just got me. It's pretty convenient. A black diamond ultralight poles and our little schedule what we're doing bada bing bada boom so i got lots going on in this little uh video first of all when kelsey and i did our through hike and set the mother daughter at speed record we looked over what's that so we looked over and saw this and we thought oh check this out we thought maybe it was a uh a old fireplace where maybe the uh log cabin had disintegrated years ago so we walked up to it and it was kind of interesting so we come around this side and here you go this says uncle nick grindstaff born december 20 born december 26 1851 dude died july 22nd 1923 it says here lived alone suffered alone and died alone so kelsey and i were speechless we we're like okay so there you go there's uncle grindstaff and let me turn this around a lot of time on trails you know that most people are worried about bears and cats or coyotes maybe more than they should be and uh well i had my first experience in all the my years outdoors uh mary margaret was laden and um we come up on this rhododendron bush and we hear this big deep growl and uh it shook the whole thing we started shaking our poles and yelling and it uh pounced off and besides that quarter mile in front of that we saw some uh, really fresh poop. Um, looked like big cat poop, but who knows? I'm no, no scat uh, professional, so uh, I, I think I'm familiar with bear, and it's not wasn't bear. So, coyote, cat, sound like a big old deep throat cat growl. Um, so anyway, that was exciting. All right, so we're gonna leave Mr. Grindstaff. We are at 13 miles. Got about seven to go to finish the night. And uh, it's been fairly unattractive. These are, all the trees are bare. It's day after Christmas. But look at the blue skies now, so that's nice. We fought a really deep oh, black fog this morning. It was so wet, we were just soaked. Anyway, so not a real pretty trail, but Real good training grounds for the AT. If you're thinking about doing a through hike, this is really a good spot. Stay in Damascus, have someone shuttle you down to Wilbur Dam. Take two or three days. And uh, if you can do this and stay concentrated, you do this and stay concentrated, just put one foot in front of the other. For minimum five, six, seven, probably closer to eight or 10 hours. A day you will make it from Georgia to Maine. Do what Mary Margaret and I do at our age. We just put one foot in front of the other. We have good hours and bad hours, huh? And this is just, this is what we do when we're tired and we pull out the junk food. You gonna fill my pocket? Yeah, gotta put it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thanks, Mary Margaret. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Skittles. <laughs> it is 4.11. Yeah, it is 
411 and uh, we're gonna hike in the dark. We just don't know how far we want to hike in the dark. So we're trying to figure it out. I'll do a video before we hit the sack. So, the 2014 Warren Doyle dropped Kelsey and I off right there. Oh yeah, it was dark and I about stepped on a cow pie. Oh, I got you right there. We're heading right. We have gone 18 miles. Whoop whoop. How you feeling, Mary Margaret? Hard. Yes. But great. Oh, me too. So, so I find it interesting. Mary Margaret and I saw no one. Nada. Zilch. Nothing. The other side of this cow pasture. The parking lot was full down there. There's two people down there walking. Just had a whole family. It's funny how people want to hike this open field. That mind boggles me. How fun is that? So do we go through? AT on that barn there. Awesome. Mary Margaret getting her pad in there. So we finally made it. Hiked in the dark for about an hour. Got little micees running all around. And, uh, so we're going to make our tent tight and hope they leave us alone. Neither Mary Margaret or I sleep well on the ground, but uh, we actually did okay last night. We were so tired. Um, you can tell I haven't put the miles in. My feet, by the time I get to the van tonight at 38 miles, are going to have a few issues. Nothing, uh, nothing really bad, but uh, I normally don't have any issues at all. So I need to get hiking some more and just put the miles in versus uh, not. All right, we're uh, getting out here about 8 o'clock this morning. Uh, we'll make it before dark. It should be about a nine-hour day. Who says you can't carry a two-man tent in the hyperlight? So, notice camping is closed due to aggressive bear activity. But well, we didn't see this last night. And uh, we didn't even hang our food, but praise God, we're no troubles. What a blessing today to start with the sunshine versus yesterday, the black fog. I'm filming because I just uh, feel like this has been kind of a gloomy, oh my goodness. This sucks, I hurt, <laughs> video. I didn't want that. And actually last night, um, probably about seven, it was a, the sunset was like so crazy dark orange because it had already really set, but the hues of the deep red and orange was, I wanted to film it, but I didn't. I was too tired. But here you go. I'm gonna call my husband real quick. We got 10 miles left from here. No rain yet, just heavy winds. <sighs> Grab some lunch. A little, not much of a view. Damascus is right over there. Can hear the cars maybe. Get to the van. We made it to the van. And I am toasted. Toasted, toasted, toasted. My beatsies hurt so bad today. Whew! Alright. I don't know how long this video will be. At first I was going to title it a short video for a long hike. But, uh, actually got some kind of decent footage so i'll go home and edit it and um happy trails everybody keep pushing god bless